Welcome to Attican Plays, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to this Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic quick guide all about electricity. I'm going to try to quickly cover the key components of electricity as it is represented in the game. I'm going to avoid all the technical talk and all the uh, voltage and, uh, you know, the calculations of voltage and amperage and ohms and wattage and all that stuff and just give you some simple definitions and a way to think about uh, power to play this game so that you can just quit being confused about electricity and be able to handle it. Okay, first thing is we're going to look at two things, voltage and wattage. And for our purposes, again, we're going to leave out all the complexity and we're going to oversimplify and say that voltage equals our power supply. It's potential power that's being pushed in a, into our system from some source, either a power plant or from an import site like this at our border. So voltage is our power supply, and we're going to express it or talk about it in terms of kilovolts. A kilovolt is 1,000 volts. So we're always going to talk in terms of how many kilovolts of power, and you probably hear me say volts a lot, but I really mean kilovolts of power are we being supplied is the potential supply that we have in our system. And then we're going to oversimplify wattage and consider wattage as the power demand. So we're going to think about wattage as what power does a building need. And we're going to talk about it in terms of megawatts. A megawatt is a million watts. So we're going to talk about a thousand volts and a million watts and power and or supply and demand. Okay. So Let's just say we have a scenario, a simple, let's use a simple example. I'm on the map, I just started a, on the map where um, you've got these pre-populated cities. So let me find one. And please, 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 let me find a decent sized city. I think there's one right over here. Yeah, this this city of Lessi, Lessi. So we want to go from Lessi over that to Padonan, which is on the border, and we'll just grab our power by importing it. Now, the way to move power over long distances and out of a power plant is by way of a high voltage wire. So a high voltage wire, you can see, uh, will carry voltage and it will is capable of supporting up to 13 megawatts of demand. That's a lot. That's a lot of demand. So let's just run. I'm going to start from this end so I don't get lost. Uh, please, please give us a mini map. Okay, let's just, I'm just going to pick a spot and say we'll go right here. Now I'm going to start dragging high voltage wire all the way over here to Padonan. At least I'm going to try to. And you'll notice how easy that was. It really is easy. The high voltage wire will go over mountains. It'll go over anything. The only thing you have to watch are really wide bodies of water and buildings. It won't go through buildings that you've created. You'll have to go around those. But basically, other than that, you can just drag, drag that sucker for miles and miles and miles. In fact, we can just drag it right. If I can just scroll in a little bit, we can drag it right here. You can see that power connection coming out of of uh, that this right here that thing I'm circling is is technically it's a substation it, in the game it looks like a transformer technically a substation is any building that ramps that kind of steps up or steps down your power so it takes high voltage and turns it into medium or vice versa through the use of transformers and the transformers are the little little uh, pieces, uh, the parts, pieces and parts of a, of a substation. But for the game, I'll, I'll show you it's slightly different. So let's just go ahead and build that. By the way, I've got everything on the hardest settings except for unlimited money because I wanted to uh, be able to move right ahead with this uh, demo. So here we go. Now we've got high voltage lines going way back near Leslie over here to this. So we're going to import our power. So we're going to say import and just, we're going to just import them all. So you can import, it can supply up to 10 megawatts of power from, from, from an import. So we've got 10, we've got 110 kilovolts of power. That's our supply. And we could support up to a, a drain out of that system, if you will, of up to um, 10 
megawatts of power. So we got lots of power coming over these nice big, long, easy to lay out line. Look at that, we just went right over the peak of a mountain. And here's our little town of Leslie, and we'd like to give these people power. So what we need next is, we need to understand one, a simple concept about the, the voltage. We, we've got high voltage coming on these long lines because we don't want to lose power going over long distances. That's why you have high voltage power because there is resistance in those lines and you tend to leak the power. So you have high voltage lines to carry over long distance. Then we need to step that power down to, to what the game calls medium voltage. And it's, it's medium voltage is one size fits all. It'll fit anything we've got. And it's going to step that power down to a, a lower voltage that the buildings themselves can actually use. So we're going to use a transformer for that. So we go to infrastructure and you can go, we go to high voltage and we look right here and see a power transformer. Now that power transformer, you can see it has a high voltage, that's that big triangle, and medium voltage uh, connections on it. So if we just line that up with our, uh, with our high voltage line and put it in, and then we take a high voltage wire and we finish off that connection into that high voltage connection on the transformer and let that build. Now, if you'll notice, we have voltage coming in to this transformer. So there is a supply of power. There's no demand because nobody's using it yet, okay? So now, here we go. We want to uh, give these houses power. So to do that in the game, you build a substation. We can go to medium and pick substation, or we could go to over in construction and go to the energy related. That's another way, by the way, to get to your transformer and we can grab a substation. Now the substation has a range that it can support. So it sort of like represents all the other wires that we would have to uh, drag through our system in order to, you know, like we would have uh, wiring going to every house, right? To every house that was gonna be powered and to that church. But here we're just gonna put one in a spot where, and this is really hard to see, but we want that, we want to put it in a spot Two of my pet peeves losing this. So we know this is going to, going to supply the bulk of the city. So let's put a substation right there. Now that substation, what we're going to do now is use our medium wire because we've used the transformer to step down to medium. Now we've got three choices. There are three medium wires we can run. There's this one that's, uh, that, on, that would only support 0.65 megawatts of power. There's a, about roughly double that we can su supply 1.2, and double that we can supply, roughly, we can supply about 2.2 megawatts. I'm gonna use the 2.2. I tend to use that for everything because I tend to grow systems bigger and bigger, and we'll get into why that matters in a moment. But there we go. Now here comes a line, doop, 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 doop. And now, if we look at this substation, see, now it has power. You also notice it has wattage. Now, what's that wattage? That's these buildings, see here? That's all these buildings that it's touching are drawing power from it. So now we have powered all these buildings. And we can even see, we can go to this church and say, where are you powered from? Uh, it's not. I think the church is a little different. Yeah, we'll ignore the church. Churches are special buildings in this game. Um, that you can't build yourself. So see see how this house right here says it's going to that, uh, that uh, substation? Or we can look at it the other way around and say this substation powers what portion of the city? That portion. If we wanted to do the whole thing, we would, we would probably need to put, well, we would need to put, we would need to put another substation on the other side over here to grab the part that we're missing. So let's put one over here. And I'm going to put it like this. And now we got two options. We can either drag another complete line out of our transformer, or we can split the line we already have. I'm gonna split it because I wanna show you how to do that. We go into our medium voltage wires, and then we'd use this, a medium voltage switch. That's what we're gonna use. But first, we're going to just grab our cancel wire and pick where we wanna split it. We're gonna hit that right there and knock out that line right there at one pole. 
Now we're going to get a medium voltage switch, and we're going to run our, want to run our power up like that, around that way. So we're going to turn this around so the two of the ends are pointing toward the original line, and the third end is pointing out the way we want to go. Then we're going to, in the dark, connect this line back up. Then we're going to connect the line back up this way, and now we can run a line that way. Now, while it's dark, I'm not going to bother to, to uh, uh, run that line. But notice, see how this portion of our city is lit up, and this portion is still in the dark. And I'm going to fast forward through this. Uh, we'll talk about a little bit more about the nighttime later on. But the day-night cycle matters a lot because our power requirements go up when all those lights come on. And we have to deal with that sometimes. So here, there we go. The sun's coming back up. So now we can pause it and run our medium line. I'm going to continue to use this one, the 2.2 megawatts. It's, pro it's probably overkill for this little city, but uh, here we go. We're just going to run it around. It cannot curve at, at really tight angles. And if you just stop to look at it, after I run it, you'll see why. So sometimes you have to put a little bit of a gentle curve around it. But we're just going to run it all. Well, I probably should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? But anyway, we're going to run like this, put a little gentle curve, and right into our, our substation over here. Now, this substation has power, and that house has power. Okay, so now we're starting to supply power. So remember, almost all of your buildings require medium power. I think the steel mill has actually a high power um, connection for it. But almost all of them re require uh, medium power, even, even like a refinery or whatever. Now, I did mention brownouts, or the nighttime. At night, you're drawing more power because all the lights are coming on. And what you'll see here is that each of the substations that we built is capable of, of supporting two megawatts of power. So we've got demand, it can fulfill a demand up to two megawatts. But no matter how much voltage is coming into it, it can only supply two megawatts of demand or, or fulfill that much demand. Same thing over here. So if we had a big old refinery sitting here drawing a bunch of power, then we had some big electric trains. And if those, any of those of you watching my playthrough, if you go watch the first couple of episodes of my, of my current playthrough, my first playthrough of this game, um, you'll see a lot of power being drawn in a short, small area. Sometimes you'll have to add uh, extra power lines and extra uh, substations in order to make sure that you have enough megawatts uh, of demand capability, um, demand fulfillment capability in order to uh, avoid brownouts. You don't want brownouts because that means that building is literally shutting down, coming back on, shutting down, coming back on. It causes all kinds of problems. All right, so there's high voltage lines going to a transformer, uh, going um, into a substation. There's a medium line being split and sent over to another substation. We could also, by the way, we can split, of course, we can split our high voltage line. So if this is our main line of power coming in that we're importing from Padonan, and we wanted to go out this way, maybe there's a city out to the left of our screen that we wanted to uh, power, we could just do the same thing. We could go to infrastructure, high voltage, we could cancel out one of the little sections here, and of course, if you know in advance you're going to do this, you could just build the switch right in at the beginning. You don't have to build build wire and then delete it and then build it again. But we'll put a high voltage switch in there. Then we'll make sure that we connect our uh, originals back up like so. And then off we go. And there goes there goes the line off into into wherever to uh, supply uh, power to some other city or to an industry we build or whatever. All right, it really, it, it's, it's about that simple. You want to use high voltage lines for your long lines. You want to connect them up to transformers. In the game, it's a transformer. Technically, that is a substation with transformers in it. But in the game, that's a transformer. You want to supply, run your high voltage wire into a transformer. That transformer is going to give you uh, as you can see here, 
it gives you the high voltage connection and 246 um, medium voltage and then you want to run your line out of the medium voltage to wherever you need it to a substation in the game terminology which is this right here which allows you to supply power to a number of buildings and then you want to watch the megawatt capability of your substations if you have a very busy area that has high electrical demand and watch for brownouts and if you're getting brownouts think about adding substations and more medium more you could even need more medium wire because it, as we see it can uh, support up to a certain amount of, of megawatts of power so you may have to run maybe maybe if this was a big factory in here instead of a church we may, might run another line uh, uh, off this transformer to another substation so that we could get another 2.2 uh, meg wire and another 2 meg substation going to uh, to accommodate all that power need. That's really, folks, that's all you need to know about electricity really to play this game well. Know how to split your lines, know how to uh, how to run your high lines for your distances, how to do the transformer to step the power down, how to hook up to a substation to actually deliver the power to buildings at a medium, medium strength, how to run your medium wire to that substation, and how to split both your medium and your uh, high voltage lines so that you can uh, run lines off in other directions. And also, of course, just uh, think of your voltage, your kilovolts as your power supply and your mega watts, your million volts, as your power demand. And then match up your demand fulfillment capability on your, on your line, on your substations and your lines in case of brownouts. That's it. That's electricity in a nutshell. Hopefully that'll help you get through a part that I think can be confusing for, for folks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Workers and Resources Soviet Republic video. Thank you.